Brazil, 17 million years ago. It is a mostly hot, dry, arid landscape, and it is home to few dinosaurs. Instead, the land is dominated by many types of unusual looking species of crocodilians. From the long-limbed adamantine sucus to the dog-like mariathasuchus, but the strangest of them all is the armored armadillosuchus. He is two meters long, but wouldn't even reach up to your knee. His armor plating looking shockingly like a modern armadillo's, hence the name. He is also omnivorous, unlike all modern crocs, and is a powerful digger, carving out shallow tunnels to seek shelter from larger crocodiles, such as the fearsome Barasuchus. Although his armor is strong, he'd rather avoid being attacked when possible, and his small burrow provides plenty of room so that nothing will try and dig him out. In the distance, some sauropods are on the move. They are one of the few visitors here, making short stops on their long migrations. Armadillosuchus does not migrate. For better or for worse, he stays in this arid land and ekes out a living along with all of the other strange crocodilians, destined to disappear from this world at the end of the Age of Dinosaurs. Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today we will be breaking down one of my favorite extinct crocodilian species, Armadillosuchus. Armadillosuchus, whose name simply means armadillo crocodile, gee, big brain energy for figuring that one out, <laughs> was a unique looking crocodilomorph that lived about 70 million years ago in Brazil. It grew to around two meters long, half a meter tall, and weighed 120 kilograms. Its namesake comes from the armadillo-like plating that covers its body. These are a type of osteoderms that have evolved in a near exact way of modern armadillos, with one set on top of the head and then seven bands running along its back, giving it protection and allowing it to flex its back slightly. It has other mammalian-like traits as well, such as its limbs being long and held beneath its body and not splayed out on the sides like other crocs. This would suggest that it was a fully terrestrial animal, unlike any modern crocs, and filled in some strange niche that no dinosaurs were filling. Its teeth were also unique. It had curved canine-like teeth, protruding front teeth that resembled in sizes, and conical teeth with shearing edges filling out the remainder of its mouth. This wide array of teeth means it may have been omnivorous as well. It also had long claws that it would have been used for digging, either for getting to roots or small prey, or for even creating burrows for itself to shelter in. So, Armadillosuchus, a terrestrial crocodilian that was omnivorous, ran upright and was covered like an armadillo. It's got to be one of the most unique looking prehistoric creatures period. And prehistory is full of many different species of crocs that look nothing like their modern day relatives, and I'll be sure to cover some of them in future episodes, or at least include them in my narratives. Is there any specific croc you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments section. And until next time, try to spread the word about Armadillosuchus, because damn he needs way more attention in my mind. <laughs>